What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of Tsunami Rose Donut coming at you live from my little craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, um, giving you some junk journal content pretty much every single day. So if that is what you're into, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a little thumbs up if you like this video. So today I didn't know what exactly to do. So you guys know I've been trying to tackle my scrap stash and so today i was just like you know what let me just get some scrap paper let me make a signature basically let me sew it together and maybe later on i'll decorate it or i'll do stuff on it i don't know i just wanted to get some scraps together so that is exactly what i am doing today and um i decided that the cover would be these tags um, I guess this one I try to like coffee dye or tea dye or something at some point because it's all wrinkly. Um, I have another one that is also basically like wrinkly. It's it's tea dye but hardly distressed. Uh, very much a fail <laughs> of distressing. Then I have some more of them. I have no idea when I got them. Got these? I got these at uh, Tuesday morning. So I don't remember when, but apparently I haven't used many of them. So. Why don't I try and use those up as well? So um, I've already made this one. I think I, I put like 15 pages in here. I believe like 15 different little papers. And then we'll see how I decorate them. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow and decorate them. I don't know. It just felt like sewing some papers together. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I have my, I have two, well, I actually have three. <laughs> I actually have a three paper uh, scrap stashes. Uh, hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. How are you, girl? Um, this is one of them here. This one has, uh, basically, I have them almost like categorized. This one has like book papers and stuff I've printed out. Um, and then this stash right here has more actual like cardstock than anything else. Um, but it also has some um, scrap of papers and just Whatever I've put in here um, <laughs> that I have to work with. I just noticed I have a bunch of white papers here. I could do, I don't know what I'll do with those, but I just have such random papers uh, to use up. So uh, and these are actually sticker papers. That's right. Um, so I really need to do something with all these. So I just felt like doing this real quick. So right here, I already have the cover. I've kind of already picked out a couple pages. Um, I'm not really worried about the size. As you can see with this one, some of the pages are bigger. Um, and I'm not really like worried about it. I think it still looks really cute. And I'm gonna put some really cute like fabric, a ribbon here, probably put an eyelid in there. Hi, Patricia, what's up, what's up? Okay, so I'm gonna keep picking out my papers. Um, like I said, I'm putting about 15, maybe 16 pages per signature, which is basically one of the little journals I'm making. So one, two, three. I'll have to cut this one down. Three, four, five, six. And I'm trying to make sure I pick not uh, more than one or two pieces of cardstock because that could be hard to sew through. Oh, this has an interesting like graphic on it. Is that like a tiger or something? I don't know. I'll put that in there as well. I have some recipe paper. I love recipe paper, y'all. So we'll put that in there. Right now I'm just trying to gather up papers. I'm not really worried about their size. Here's a printable. Uh, basically, I have these printables because I was, um, I decoupaged on a whole wall <laughs> at my last place. So I have a lot of printed up huge ephemera. Well, I just noticed I have big books. I have not used these in I don't know how long. It's okay. I might crunch when I fold it in half. You'll see some books, they like rip once you fold them in half. So you can't use that. Good thing I tested it. Uh, how is everybody tonight? I hope everybody had a good day. Of course, I have been... Pretty much fine with my allergies all day till I decide to come on live, of course. <laughs> of course. Oh, here's some book paper. It's kind of janky, but that's okay. It's okay. Uh, here. Let's 
see. I have a bunch of pivot up stuff. I can put some. I, you guys know I like to put like flower stuff and everything. So put one of those. Uh, but mostly, of course, I'm trying to use up my scrap paper. So I'm not trying to get like too carried away with these printed stuffs. But, you know, I got to have my flowers. <laughs> so I'll put that there and that. Uh, let's see what else. But of course, that is scrap paper to me. <laughs> I'm going to put one of these like copied ledger papers. Okay, so now let me look at my other paper scrap stash here. And oh, this is, this is an actual vintage thing. I don't know why this is here. <laughs> that should not be there at all. Let's see, I don't need that. I'm trying to make it quick. I'm not trying to spend too much time on each journal. They're supposed to be kind of junky. Okay, so here's some cute scrap of paper. Like little bits of scrap of paper. That's cardstock. Else, okay, here's some more scrap of paper. I sometimes I guess I cut these up into small pieces and I keep part of it. That one would be cute. Uh, what else do I have? Just pieces. I gotta organize my scraps because there's some scraps that really shouldn't be in here. I have another scrap stash that I need to organize. So much organization needed here <laughs> with all these scrap stashes. Okay, so these seem to be more cardstock towards here. I think I already put one of those in there. Gotta get the scrap stash under control. Maybe I should go look at my other papers. Yeah, I should. Because I feel like I don't have enough scraps and I know that's not true. <laughs> Definitely not true. Okay, what is this? Okay, okay. So let me go get my other one. I just decided I need more. Okay, this might be smaller. Ugh, this one is more for when I do... Um, my Franken paper. So these ones are all like straight edged papers. You know what I mean? Because I like to make my Franken papers with uh, pretty much straight edged papers. So the, I'm just trying to see if I have any big chunks of paper here. Ah, see, like that's cute. That's nice. Um, these are all kind of small. I didn't know if these were all cut up small, but. I guess that makes sense because for what I use them. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna find anything here. Again, these are all just straight small scraps of paper. <sighs> okay, let's see how many pages I have now though. Might be enough. I don't can't use these small scraps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Okay, we'll have to take out maybe this one, maybe this one, maybe we'll take out this one, and we'll keep the rest. Okay, so now is the next step. We need to fold them, of course. The most exciting part. Gigi, Hannah, hi, and Jadis, what's up, you guys? Of course, I'm bringing up my old handy dandy, disgusting Martha Stewart <laughs> scoreboard here. Uh, <laughs> it's seen better days. And basically, all I'm doing is cut the paper. I'm not even bothering to cut paper straight. I'm just kind of like ripping it. We'll put it back in the scrap stash and uh, then we'll fold this in half. I'll take like the straight edge, straight part of the paper. I'm not even worried if they're not exactly straight. This is just quick fun here. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna put in a couple of doilies, I think. I think, because I have a lot of doilies. I need to use those up as well. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but then again, I like bother with it so much. And nothing has to be of a certain size, as long as it's not like too, too long. Uh, let me fold this in half. I don't want it to be longer. It can be taller than this, but I don't want it to be longer than this text. So that's kind of my only stipulation. 
So let me check on this one because this one I'm not sure. Yeah, this one's longer, so let's cut it a little bit shorter. Again, just kind of eyeballing it. Yep, now it's perfect. Okay, so put that off to the side. And um, okay, so this one I gotta cut shorter. Not as tall, but I love this. This is so beautiful. I think I'll put this as a front page. Let me see how tall this is. I gotta make this a little bit taller. I'm trying to make it as tall as this front page here. I'm trying. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're ripping it. Again, I'm not really, I don't like the whole like totally ripped uh, paper look. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful strip right here. Um, but I like more of a controlled rip, if that makes sense. See this, almost, it gives you that like hand, you know, ripped look, but you don't have to make it go totally crazy. Okay, let's see. This would be beautiful as this page right here. It doesn't really pop that much. I made it a tiny bit shorter than it should be, but you know what? That's fine. It's going to be a beautiful first page. So, set that aside. I believe this one is, yeah, okay. So it's not as long. That's my only stipulation is that it's not um, as wide as this tag. It needs to be in the tag. In the tag. One-legged witchy woman. What's up, you guys? Yes, this is a quick <laughs> journal, even though I've been fussing with this for the last 15 minutes. I'm going to try and see how many of these I can get done. This is pretty much the example of what I'm making. I'm just putting a bunch of scrap papers together and I'm sewing them with my sewing machine. And uh, that's pretty much the whole story of what we're doing. <laughs> this is what the goal uh, result is right here. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just getting my little signature together here. <sighs> Let me see if I missed anybody. I don't want to miss anybody. I'm trying to keep an eye on 10 different things here. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one's a little harder to get kind of straight, but that's okay. This one's definitely a hand cut piece of paper right there. So cute little these standalones or inserts. These are, I think I'm gonna make these standalones, but you can definitely make these as uh, inserts for any journal that you're gonna make or make these as a signature for, you know, journals that you're gonna make. Um, but this one's just going to be a little standalone junk journal. Maybe I'll make it into a little art journal. I don't know what I'm going to do with them exactly. <laughs> I have not decided, but I just felt like putting them together, you guys. I don't know why. Um, oh, actually, I do know why. Because uh, I've seen, uh, what's her name? Uh, I think it's Liz, the paper project on Instagram. She's been posting little junk journals that are like really junky. And I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. And then you know who else? April, Pink God Bird. She's also doing like little junky journals. And I haven't watched her videos, but um, I see her promoting them all the time with her little junky journals. So I'm like, you know what? You know what? That's cool. <laughs> so I will definitely tell you who inspired me. Oh, this is like a Kool-Aid dyed scrap paper. And I'm like, I want to try that. I have so many scrap papers. Like, let me just get on, on this uh, train here. And uh, let me get on these scraps. So let's get this cut up here. Okay. Uh, make sure it's not as tall as the tag. Oh, gosh. Here's the tag. Here's the tag. Okay, we're within our limits. <laughs> Let me cut the length of it because it's too long. Just like that. And then I got, I got some scraps here. But we'll put it back in the scrap. <laughs> they go back. Okay. And I think I'm, I'm definitely going to fold a couple of doilies. Um, this is like a print test. <laughs> that I did at some point, I suppose. And uh, that's going in there too. Why not? <laughs> Why not? The print test that uh, I had to do over and over because you can see a little lines on the numbers. So 
I've had to do those a lot. And I actually keep those pieces just so I can either like test stitching out or just there's a lot of things you can use those types of paper for. Okay, this one's going to have to be cut. We'll cut it down to this right here. This feels right. <laughs> I'm just eyeballing everything. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's get this little journal put together. And uh, again, I'm trying not to be uh, like too picky, but um, I definitely want it to be like white paper and then some like scrapbook paper, you know? Um, I don't want it to be like multiple white papers or blank papers. I want to have it have a little bit of a, uh, as one of my favorite decorators on YouTube says, visual interest. I can't remember what his, I can't remember what his YouTube name is, but he always says visual interest. Okay, so got our cover, uh, but we're going to work from the inside out. So the inside page, and I'm just using a piece of chipboard here. Um, it helps me kind of put my signature together. You'll see what I mean. Let's use this uh, ledger paper here in the middle. I like to make sure that the paper is nice and flush up against this side right here. And then we'll put uh, this magazine. And then I'm going to put this small piece of paper because I kind of want to add like little junky layers. I want you to be able to see kind of all the papers. Um, this one would be a good piece of paper right now, right here. And then sometimes I have shorter papers like this. And sometimes I like to put these like down low. And then some I'll put up here, as you can see, you'll see in a minute. Hmm. <clears throat> this piece of paper will be up here. So you can see those two papers. And again, trying to keep all the papers pushed up against this edge. And use a book paper here. And then we'll have, oh, we haven't used a flower yet, so we'll put a flower on here. And then we'll put this beige cardstock piece. Not trying to be picky at all with this. I'm just kind of putting down the papers, just grabbing some. And we'll put this up here, and we'll put, oops, there's this blue scrap of paper that would look cute down here. This white paper, flowers, yes, let's get some flowers in here. And then this one will be kind of down lower, so you get to see both papers up here. I'll uh, we'll go with the book paper. <clears throat> and then I think I'm going to skip out on this one and we'll finish it off with this floral paper here at the very end. So now I got my whole signature set up. And I'm, again, I'm trying to push up against the edge. So now what I'm going to do is drop it. Oh, I forgot to put the um, cover on it. Duh. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's reverse that. Let's reverse it if possible. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put a cover on it this way. I want this part to be in the front. I forgot to put the doily, so we'll do that in the next one, I guess. <laughs> okay. I haven't looked at the, at the screen in a minute, so I apologize if I haven't said hi to anybody. I'm using my giant paper clips to help me uh, hold paper together. Well, before I do that, actually, take my pencil and I'm going to mark down the center of the signature. So give me a guide to sew. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, let me look. <laughs> let me look up at the screen. Smarty is the corner of the crease board. Yes, that's what I like to do. That's why I like this specific uh, board right here for folding. Uh, happy Scrappy. Oh, 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 oh. I, I apologize. I don't think I've gotten those messages, but I will get back to my shop uh, very soon. Uh, Jadis, I owe you the printables. That's right. I apologize. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my uh, sewing machine, and I'm using, uh, let me give you guys a shot here. 
I'm using my uh, Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 PRW, which is what I pretty much use. And since I made that line down the middle, I know uh, where to sew. Now, uh, depending on your sewing machine, uh, will determine how many pages you can have in your little junk journal insert. For me, I try not to push it. Uh, I have found the maximum of pages that I should sew is about 30 pages. Should not sew more than 30 pages. But um, I like making my signatures more to be around 10, page, 10 to 15 pages is ideal for me for a signature, actually. Um, okay, so that is that. And now I have a little junk journal, basically. I think my uh, there's something wrong maybe with my bobbin. I got to check that. But that's okay. It's a junk journal, y'all, so I'm not really tripping. So there we have. This one's actually a little bit thicker than the last one. I think I definitely tried to stuff more pages in here. Oh, let me get down the, let me get down this right here. Yes, right here. Okay, okay, okay. What do you have your webcam hanging on? Okay, so I actually have a video on my old uh, filming setup. It has since changed. But I have a list of the things that I use for my setup in the description below. But my camera that you see right here with my fingers uh, is on a microphone boom with this like, you can see it right here actually. It's on a microphone boom and then it has this little part right here that's like, uh, like a special adapter so that I can hold the camera. Uh, but it is a microphone boom. And then what you see me on is actually on a, on a, a microphone arm that attaches to my desk that I can, you know, move back and forth like that. So that's that. <laughs> Add to that. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I told you, I want to show you guys, let me get my camera together. I want to show you guys um, what I did. I actually, hi, my face is huge here. Okay. But uh, if you could see behind me, I'm so excited. So I actually put up my painting, which I have not put it, put up any art in my house in any of my houses in a while. Still have to paint the door, but you can see I put up the, the painting that I, that I got in at the Goodwill. And then I bought some new vintage hankies to go up on my on my uh, curtains. I'm gonna fix them up later on as I get more. I'll maybe even sew them all together. But I just love that, you guys. So I just wanted to show that off. If you guys don't see it on camera, I'm like oh, so proud of myself. Let me get my face off camera again. <laughs> uh, I wasn't ready for that close up, y'all. <laughs> But I'm just so happy about um, my hanky curtains. <laughs> okay, so that is this journal right here. Um, I'll come back and decorate it later. I just want to have something put together. You know what I mean? When I'm bored, I'll grab it and I'll do something really junky with it. So that is um, number two. Definitely a lot more pages in that one. Like I said, I definitely wouldn't do more than about 30 pages. But um, anything under 30 pages is... Uh, it just does it like butter, so there's no problems with that. Okay, so let's do another one. Hopefully I can get a couple more done. Hopefully. I'm going to have to take a new one out of here. I bought these so long ago, and I just haven't done nothing with them. But they were only two bucks, so it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we have that. Now, let me get to the scraps, right? So the scraps, we got the scraps here, y'all, the scraps. Okay, so let's see. This paper is actually really close. I'm going to put one of those in there. And this book paper I tested, it actually, like, folds in half and rips, so I can't use that, <laughs> unfortunately. Here's another one of those, like, testing uh, pages that I did. I'll use one of those. And this one, actually, this one's a little bit more graphic. I think I'll use this one instead. Okay, so. Try not to overthink things at all, but I have this, these beautiful illustrations I can use. Maybe I should have used. Okay, here's something that I've already folded in half. So, hey, let's include that. Here's something else I've already folded in half, so I'm going to include that. <laughs> Just keep recycling. 
And let's see, a lot of blank papers, a lot of little papers. What do we got? What do we got here? <clears throat> I know these scraps are not at a manageable manageable place. Oh, 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 this paper is cool with these like dots on them. It talks about flowers and some, I don't know exactly what it's trying to illustrate, but I know it's about flowers and plants. Um, let's see, I have such pretty scraps. Y'all, look at that. I gotta use that. That's beautiful. Gotta have it. Okay, these are all cardstock. That's why I'm not even thinking about it. Here's a scrap of paper. We'll include that. Oh, here's a lined piece of a uh, note memo paper that's been coffee dyed. So we'll put that in there. What else? These are a little bit too small, but this one's a little bit long, so we'll include that one. Oh, here's another one of those tags. Cool. Put that aside. Maybe we can get more of these journals done here in the allotted time. Put that in there. Why not? Why not? That's that's pretty much the whole like motto to this project is why not? Let's just put it in there. Why not? <laughs> Maybe I will do one with all blank white papers because they're not all the same type of blank white paper. That might be cool too. Uh, here's some purple paper. That'll go in there. That's fun. It's got a fun inside design on there. Who am I missing? Lori. Hi, Lori. Girl, what's up? Om. Hi, Om. Nice to see you. Okay, this paper. No, I don't want that in there. I don't know why, but I'm not feeling it. Doesn't have good vibes, you know. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so cardstock, cardstock, all this cardstock. Okay. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom. Okay, so let's get the other people. I can't have just one stash of scrap paper. It's just that's illegal, I think. <laughs> I think that's against the law to just have one stash of papers. Okay, okay. So we can have some ephemera. We'll have this one. Oh, and then this giant tag postage tag is really cool. Ah, uh, la 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 la. And we'll have, oh, here's another ephemera that would be kind of cool. Okay, so let's get some flowers up in here. I got this right here, and then I got. This right here, this may not seem like scraps to you, but it is definitely scraps to me. Uh, because like I said, this is from an old project when I decoupaged on my wall. And uh, I have since uh, moved. So I'm literally left with all these pieces that I meant to put on other walls. Or I don't know what I meant to do with it. Is this going to fold in half properly? I don't know. Nope, this cracks too. Or it's gonna crack. It's not gonna crack. Maybe it's not gonna crack. <laughs> but I folded it in the wrong spot. So, oh, oh, here's some cool ledger paper. I don't know if that's already too many papers. Okay, here's a cool uh, book called Good Times, I guess. All those nice people. Okay, how many pages is that already? I'm going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, this is more than enough. <laughs> I already went over the limit, which I'm supposed to do 15 pages, but I think uh, the last one I did went, oh, went over 15 pages. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to fold. So I got my little handy-dandy board here, and this I got to cut off, actually. I'm gonna cut off this page here. And I just kind of hold pressure here. And it gives me a nice clean cut. We'll put both of those pages in there if we can. So let me fold this in half. I know this is not exactly uh, even. And where is my butter knife? Where did my butter knife go? <laughs> Hang on. Where is it? Here it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna put this on a like keychain, on a on a, a necklace around my neck because I lose this thing. I don't know more. If I had a nickel for every time I lost this butter knife, I would be rich. <laughs> okay, so this is the cover. All right. 
Here's some more scrappy doos. This one I think is too long. Yeah, this is too long. So we'll have to cut it a little bit, not too much. That's good enough for me. Okay, you guys. What's everybody say? I just realized that your channel that you changed your channel name. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did slightly alter my my uh, YouTube name. I don't know if I can change my um, URL, but they let me change my channel name. Sorry, there's like something on my tongue. What the heck? Probably a piece of garlic for my food. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so is this too tall? This might be too tall. Let me cut it down just a bit. Just a little bit right there. Okay, that's good enough for me. Okay, okay. Keep this going, you guys. God's desire for me. Hello. I'm trying to see who, who did I miss. If I missed anybody, let me know. I will say hello because <laughs> I'm like busy looking at Daisy, I can't have the sound on. Hubs is sleeping for water to say hi. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> What's up, Karen? I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm saying hi to you. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. Oh, I also got my TV up in my um, office here, so I'm excited about that. Um. I'm trying to get it all decorated. I'm trying to get my room together. Little by little, I'm not the best decorating, so I don't know how that's going to go. I put that the frame up there, and then I was like, oh, now what? Because, I mean, you can't just have, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. I kind of like the whole, like, tchotchke, like, really piled on type of decorations. <laughs> uh, so I might try and do that, like, really pile stuff on. I don't know how, but. I like that junky look for sure. Okay. So and I'm supposed to get doilies. Gosh darn it, Daisy. <laughs> grab the doilies. Give me one second. I'm going to try and grab those doilies. I don't forget. I'm going to forget them if I don't get them. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Calm down, Daisy. <laughs> you slipped out of bed so you can watch. Ah! Okay, okay, so I'm gonna get maybe, let me get like three doilies. Let me, let me get, okay, we'll use those. Oh my goodness, the guys. Oh. <laughs> I have to make soup after this. I gotta make some chicken soup, y'all. I need some good soup in my life right now. Okay, so we got these doilies off to the side. It's raining outside, it's not cold though. I didn't have to turn on my AC yesterday, and I don't think I'm going to have to turn it on today. It's just really comfortable. It's not even fresh. It's just comfortable. Okay, so let's cut this paper down a little bit. I don't want to, but I have to. Well, let me cut this part straight a bit more. A bit more straight here. Some pressure on here. Okay. And I think. This one should be in the front because this is gorgeous. Even though it actually won't really show that much. Gosh darn it. I went, oh, look at the back. I didn't even notice what's on the back, y'all. Jesus. <laughs> really, Daisy? Like, really? You don't notice that at all? Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm definitely putting this in the front. Come on. It doesn't want to rip. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That is beautiful on both sides. I love this. Was like an encyclopedia of like gardening, and uh, it had these beautiful illustrations. It had basically one page of these beautiful illustrations per encyclopedia. So I've been keeping those for some special events, and I guess this one is as good as any. Make sure it's cut down a little bit more. And then it's not as long. Let's be shorter. There we go. Okay, so 
So let's fold these in half here. These are gonna make beautiful scraps for later too. These right here are gonna be beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, I have to use that. It's so pretty. So it goes back into the scrap stash. Uh, okay, okay, and uh, these two, <clears throat> I think I'll save this one probably for the next one, but we still have, okay, so let's have, uh, let's see, uh, Carrie says, haha, Daisy, you're cutting up paper and I'm cutting up fabric to make sunglass holders. Ooh, sunglass holders, that sounds cool, it sounds like a cool project. I haven't tried to make anything like that actually like requires straight lines. That makes me nervous. <laughs> it makes me like real nervous. Okay, and then it's shorter. Again, I'm just eyeballing everything. I don't know exactly how long everything should be. And if the paper's not straight, that's fine. Supposed to be like a chunky little journal. I'll come back and decorate these for sure because they scream decorate me. And I'll probably do it in like a really grungy kind of like art journal type of way, I think. We'll see. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. <laughs> but that's kind of like the vibe I'm getting, like kind of art journal type vibes. Okay, that one's not straight, but that's okay. 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 So, uh, let me fold this in half. That's fold in half, fold in half. And I gotta cut the pages because I really can't overdo it. <laughs> I want to, and it's very easy to overdo it, but I don't want to. Uh, I already picked the doilies. I already got them there. Okay, okay. Uh, the tag is already folded. Okay. Okay, okay. So, now, got my little piece of. Uh, chipboard and I need a little glue. Let me get my glue stick. I just need a little bit of glue to hold these um doilies down. I'm just gonna put some glue there and then just attach the doily because I don't have time to be dealing with doilies. I want to be moving around. I don't got the time for that. <laughs> and so on um, this one, I want to put it on the very first one too, because that would be so beautiful. There we go. So it's just like enough glue to like keep it down just slightly, not even really, but. <laughs> and my, you see how I hold it down? Like just enough. It's like post-it note type of glue right now. Situation we got going on, just rubbing it on that little edge. So I got three of them. That's pretty much my goal. And then that'll go there. I don't even care if it's in the middle. Okay, so we have, uh, that's going to be at the very end. So we're starting from the inside out. And I kind of want the tall paper to be on the inside. So we'll use this one. And we're using the pencil falling apart. That's why, that's why it's a problem to only have one of everything because then you can't find it. <laughs> Some little pencil here. This is going to be in the center. These were kind of an impulse. I definitely have like better stuff I could be using in my journals. But I'm just kind of doing this on the fly, and that's okay. Not really going to stress about it. Just getting it all nice and junky in here. It's my main concern here. Oh, oh, this red would be beautiful. This like red. Uh, it's like a postmaster tag, but it's so big. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, that one's printed from one of my um, ephemera sets. And we're going to put this pink one here. And then we're going to, um, let's see, we're going to gotta hit the, uh, the, the other doily soon. Let's see. Oh, I didn't fold this one in half. Why not? I don't know. But now it doesn't get included. <laughs> okay, okay. So now we got to put a flower somewhere. And I'm trying to like make it like real nice and junky so you can see all the layers. 
So I'm not really worried about making everything be in the middle or anything. Oh, this one's way too tall. What the heck? Way too tall. Hang on. I have a paper cutter behind me. Let me just paper cut this. Just real quick. Just really quickly here. Okay, let's just pretend I had that one already cut to size and everything is going great. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit too wide, maybe. I don't know. I can't even tell. Actually, it is too wide. So hang on. <sighs> take a breath, Daisy. Take a breath. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. This third time's a charm. Technically, second time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Oh, Karen says she found her earphones. Hi, Karen. <laughs> JJ with Joy. Hi. L-I, hi, second chance crafting, what's up, what's up, you guys, We're trying to get through this, breathe, <laughs> breathe, Daisy, breathe, these are supposed to be quick, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I think it's going okay, <laughs> this flower here, wait, 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 I want the flower to show, because there's red right there, so that would be really pretty to show, let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Oh, we're getting there. There's fourteen. Fifteen. That one's too tall, so we won't include it. <laughs> Fifteen. I still want to put this one with the little kids. And then, okay, and then we'll finish it off. Put these in the next one. We'll finish off with this and the flower one. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this one. We'll put the cover on it, which is this giant tag. Ugh, okay. It kind of moved around a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. We'll see if this works or not. I don't know. <laughs> Got my giant paper clips. Okay. Good thing this is, again, this is a junk journal, so it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all, so it's okay, it's okay, 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 get to my sewing machine here, get a little bit back there so you guys can see, oops, I'm moving my post board, gosh darn it, that's why I taped it down, hello, okay. Okay, so let's just get this sewn up. I use a straight stitch on the longest setting. Uh, so that way it doesn't, um, and then I just did a back stitch right there. So that way it doesn't um, perforate the paper. It just sews it together. And this is kind of the method that I use on all of my junk journals. I actually don't I haven't done the pamphlet method in, in quite a while. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I haven't uh, tortured myself that way in a while. <laughs> but you definitely can if you want. I just kind of prefer to um, use my sewing machine. So yay, here is the third one that we made. And I just really like this. Uh, this uh, flower illustrations are just out of this world adorable. It's really cute, really junky, quick. Got to get all my scraps out of there. I got to do something with my scraps. They're driving me crazy, you guys. <laughs> so many scraps. And, of course, you make a project and you left with more scraps of those scraps. And just these scraps are uh, never ending. <laughs> definitely never ending. So this is a, definitely a fun exercise. I think I can do one more in the next 15 minutes. So these are the ones I've made so far. I think uh, definitely I've kind of made put more pages uh, as I go along. <laughs> I think the second one still has the most pages. Um, but these are really cute. So it doesn't really matter that the papers are bigger than the tags. You see, it, it's all good. They still look cute. And I really like them. And I can't really, I actually can't wait to work on the inside of them. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea. But I'm going to do something cute. So let's work. These are the last papers that I didn't put in the last journal. So let's work with those. We got the tag here that I'm going to use for the cover. Do you use regular needle for that? Yeah, I've been using a regular uh, needle in my sewing machine since forever. 
Um, I really had no problems with it. Okay, so we're in here. Oh, here's another ephemera. And we're trying to get some junky people. Okay, here is some uh, recipe paper. That'll work. And we have some lined craft paper. I'll put that in there too. Oh, there's this like piece of bottom of a receipt paper. We'll put that in there. Oh, 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 yay, I'm finding all this good stuff. The street index with zip codes. All right. This gardener is on deck. I'm not even like really caring that it's not really cut perfectly. I only care that it folds because some book papers crack when you fold them in half. So that's, this one's good. So that's good. We're going to include that in there. Uh, okay, so I have a bunch of papers that I apparently ripped uh, in half like a savage. I might have, I might have bit this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, those would be cute. Let's photos. Oh, yes. Correct. Let's see. Is this going to crack on me? No, I won't. So we'll use it. And uh, let's get other printables we have. Because I don't think I have any flowers in there yet. But you know what? Here is some, um, what is this? Peaches? Plums? They might be plums. I think they're plums. Peaches are not purple. Daisy. <laughs> they are plums. Okay, so, okay, here's a map of the United States because I'm a proud American. Okay, so let's see. What else do we do? What else do we do? La, 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 la. Let's see. Just got, okay, here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Here's the good stuff right here. Okay, okay, okay. So there's this yellow one we'll include. And then this pink one is really cute, actually. We'll include that one, too. These ones are a little bit short for my liking. I can even put this one in there, too. Why not? Okay, so. I don't even know how many pages I pulled out. I just pulled out a bunch of them. Um, we use this one for the, the outer page. Unless I can find a better one. <laughs> Unless I find something that's better. Um, we'll put one of these in there because I need to use those up. Those pages are utterly useful for anything, useless for anything else. So here's some stuff that's already folded in half. I'm just going to grab that. It's probably already too many pages, but I'm going to keep looking. <laughs> I'm just going to keep looking like, like I got nothing else to do. Okay, okay, okay. This is some of those flowers. Those are different types of flowers from a different magazine, actually. Or encyclopedia. Or what was this? I can't remember. I want to use this page. And that's cool. We'll use that. Might be too many pages already, but I'm still looking. I can't stop myself. Let's see. Ooh, this paper's pretty. Oh, 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 oh. These are nice papers. I think Rhonda Lee gave me these papers. They're like coffee dyed. I can't remember what she said, the type of paper they were. Going, going. I really need to separate these by like cardstock and regular paper. I really need to um, organize my scraps. It's just so stressful. <laughs> okay, this white paper here that'll work well. Right there. So let's see how many pages that is because it's probably like a million already. But let's get our little disgusting scoring board here. I could clean this. I could, but but I don't. <laughs> That one's already folded in half. Okay, we'll fold this one in half. What's everybody saying? Daisy, how do you get so many different kinds of papers? Do you tear books apart? So many neat pieces. Well, I have a bunch of scrapbook paper um, that, you know, you could coffee dye and you totally change the look of it. So that's coffee dyed on the inside. So that's one type of thing. These are different types of books, I believe, um, that I've torn apart. These are like uh, encyclopedia papers. Uh, these are printed. So these are actually from my shop printed up ephemeras. Uh, this is lined paper. You just collect, you know, go to the dollar store and you grab a couple things every time. <laughs> Pretty much what I've done. Some like receipt paper, like invoice paper. Again, 
it's just uh just collecting over time <laughs> i've been into junk journals for the last five years so i have collected and collected and cut up pieces and make other pieces <laughs> and uh, pretty much that's the whole game for all it's just uh I could probably put together like a paper pack or something. I was going to put together a book paper pack because I have so many books. You can find really cool books out there with really cool illustrations. Uh, just go to your thrift shop, you know. Thrift shops are the best. Uh, do I have? I'm trying to think if I have one of those encyclopedias left, but I don't know where it is. I think I have a cactus one, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Girls, crafty world. Hi, girl. Hi. Hey, girl. Hey. Let's cut this a little bit shorter. Let me fold this in half. And then I also like to print on the back of scrap with paper, and that gives it um, a little bit of a different type of look, also, which I love. Cutting that up. Got some scraps and scraps and scraps. Okay. Okay, and now it's a little bit too long. There we go. Nothing on this paper is straight anymore, but that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Let's get this here. I have so many supplies to go through this year. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I've almost gone through all my napkin stash. Just a lot of years of collecting junk, you guys. <laughs> That's how I have all this stuff. <laughs> I go to thrift shops a lot. Definitely that. <laughs> you can definitely find me at a thrift shop practically every week. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff to go through. And then again, like mixing printables in with stuff that's not printables kind of like makes it blend in and makes it all look like it's not really, you know, like it's not, not junk. Technically it's, you know, not junk. To me, this technically is because like I said, I use them to decoupage on my wall. These are like extras. So they are technically junk to me. I didn't even print them on the best quality. So that's how you know they're not best. <laughs> they weren't meant to be. Here we go on these dark journals. I already have way too many pages. I can feel it. But I'm going to keep going. Because <laughs> YOLO, y'all, YOLO. Okay, so let's get all these scraps from underneath here. Uh, psh, 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 crafty Kitty, hello. Dot com. Hello, I had to add that. Sure did. <laughs> Sharon, hi. I'm sorry if I didn't. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. I'm trying to say hi to everybody. I think I have. I think I have. If I missed you, let me know. Let me know that you're here. Okay. 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 We are going to finish this last one before I lock off. Which is good right here. And I can't forget the doilies. I always stress out because I forget the doilies. <laughs> Can't forget the doilies. This one is way too, too big. So we're going to cut it. It already has lines on it. So that's kind of what I'm using as a straight edge indicator type situation. So put this back in the scrap bin. And then we need to cut some shorter. Okay. This is a multi-purpose tool here. <laughs> I really need to buy a new one. It just looks so gross on camera, but it's really not like gross. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it just looks gross. That's all. That's all. Okay, okay. So then we have this one. Okay, this is way too many papers, but we'll narrow it down right now. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, and I didn't fold a tag. Oh. Oh, I hit the lamp, my bad. <laughs> That's what I get for being dramatic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, so let's see how many pages. This looks ridiculous, kind of. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, I didn't fold this one. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, calm down there, okay. So let's take this out. Let's take this out. Uh, I wanna put everything in there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna take anything out. Let's take uh, that out. I like everything else so much. <laughs> Okay, this is probably way too many. I really only took out four. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to take them out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think I might have taken out enough, maybe. Just enough to make it too many. <laughs> to still make it too many. Okay, so let's see what paper is the tallest. I think I'll use this one. Um, this one will be right here because I don't think I cut the other one tall enough. Oh, this is way too tall. Way too tall. Hang on. Hang on. This is too tall. Okay, that works for me. Ugh, my stinking stuffy nose, y'all. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> This fit, this fit, it's not exactly bigger. It is slightly bigger. Should have cut these bigger than that. Okay, that's fine. That'll be there. Okay, so in the middle, I think I'm going to put this one. So I'm going to have my pencil out and I'm making a mark down the middle. Okay, so I'm looking for my chipboard. Here it is. So chipboard helps me hold it together. Helps me keep my life in order. Okay, so this will be up here. That one might be too tall. I don't know. Might not be. I don't know. So this will go. No, no. Then I want this paper. Then I want this paper. This will be down here. And then I want something up here. Put this purple paper up here. Then we'll add some floral accents right here. So you can see all three papers. That's kind of like what I like to do with these journals. Oh, then we got the scrunchy paper. Written paper. And then book paper. Invoice paper, that one. Just trying to make kind of like an interesting layout here. So your eye is like, oh, look at this, look at that. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to look at everything and you turn one page. You can see multiple things. Yes, yes. Okay, so, and I forgot the doilies. Oh my God. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Then I was gonna forget the doilies. <laughs> and this one, they're a lot taller than they probably should be, but um, I'll live, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just kind of eyeballing everything, so there's really no like, uh, there's no issues if it's not exactly how it, it, the rest of them came out, that's fine. Got our clips here. So again, your sewing machine might be different. My sewing machine can handle anything less than about 30 pages. <laughs> but it's just that when I decorate them, I end up kind of uh, putting less pages because it gets so fluffy. Journals get too fluffy. Okay, so back stitch. Go forward. This is probably the only way I'm going to get my stash managed <laughs> under control is if I keep making these type of little journals. So here's another one, you guys. Just like really junky looking with all my little scraps. Uh, the pieces are all like uneven. <laughs> it's totally cool. I like the look of it. So what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And 
And um, of course, you can check out uh, my shop. I have all the junk journal panels you ever want. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what I want to do. I don't know. I'm in a different mood for something every day. So I don't know what I'll be in the mood to do tomorrow. Maybe I'll decorate them. Maybe I'll bring these out later. I don't know. But I really like the way they came out. Uh, thank you to April from Pink Oddbird and to Liz Pink Project uh, for their inspiration on these like uh, little junky journals. So that was a really good exercise. Uh, let go, you know, of what you think should be perfect. Just kind of put stuff together, you guys. Just have a little bit of fun in your craft room for an hour or so. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, ch channel, this episode today. And uh, I will be back to hang out with you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I also like the sewing so I'm binding. This is definitely definitely less stressful of a method to uh, get your pages together. They might not come out exactly where they were, but honestly, sometimes when I did the pamphlet stitch, it wouldn't come out exactly in the middle either. So this I've just found is a lot less stress for me, and I can get a lot more done if I do things an easy way for me. So um, you guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys have a good day and uh, have some fun in your craft room, you guys. Uh, so thank you guys so much for, for joining me. Bye.